Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Sashi E. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing the Jada Waiter braids or the Jada Waiter Inspire braids or just five jumbo knotless braids, you guys. To get into things, y'all, I'm just brushing out my edges, you guys. I don't have very thick edges, but I do think having some dramatic edges does make the style look a lot better. So I'm just taking out some of my hair to make that happen. So I'm getting started with the parts. As I said, I'm doing five jumbo braids, you guys. But I will say for this style, the parts are definitely the hardest part of the style you guys it definitely is a task to make sure that the parts come out super neat so as you guys can see I have my mirror here just to check to see what I'm working with and it's definitely not what I want so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my shine and jam and I'm just gonna go over that part and then go over the part again with the comb so after going over the part again with the comb I was very pleased with how the part came out so for this part y'all you just definitely have to have a lot of patience um, it's just five braids but it does take a lot to get the part straight and then for the back sections you guys I'm just doing three jumbo braids in the back and then for the top section I'm just doing two jumbo braids so for the style, you guys, I am not feeding the hair in at all. As you guys know, I love doing the rubber band crochet method. So that is exactly what I am going to do. So I'm just using rubber bands and then I'll use my crochet needle to install the braiding hair. So as you guys can see, the back is all done. I have three big sections at the back and now I'm going to work on the front, you guys. I'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and I'm just gonna split the front into two sections and then I am going to insert my rubber bands. So for this section, you guys, I am going to put shine and jam all over my hair. I did this for the back sections as well, but I just didn't show it. So I'm putting shine and jam on the entire base of my hair. You guys can use what whichever gel you'd like to use or whichever edge control you'd like to use. I like Shine and Jam. I know for a lot of people it does turn out greasy. So if it turns greasy in your hair, just use whichever edge control or whichever gel works the best for you. And now that I am done applying the Shine and Jam to my hair, I'm just gonna get my brush. I'm gonna brush that out. <laughs> Try not to get my edges caught up. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and brush that out. And then I am going to get my rubber bands. And I think I tripled the rubber bands, you guys. And I'm just going to put it around this section of hair. All right guys, so now that I am done with my parts, it is time for me to crochet the braiding hair in. So I'm using the expression pre-stretch hair in 58 inches. And as you guys can see, it's three bundles in each pack, but I only used two and a half bundles to complete my entire hair. So each bundle provided me with two jumbo braids. So as you guys can see, I'm splitting one bundle in half. And that half bundle, you guys, I split it in a half again, just to make it easier to hook on to the crochet needle so I inserted the crochet needle I locked the latch hook and then I'm pulling it through making sure that each side is even so now I'm inserting the second piece of hair you guys and as I mentioned before I'm using a half of one bundle for each jumbo braid all right guys, so I am now at the braiding part. So I'm just separating the hair into three sections. I try to make them as even as possible. And now I am going to begin braiding. I will say I did braid this part quite tight, you guys, because as you guys can see, my hair is very puffy, it's kinky. So I needed to make sure that hair was in there, okay? So I did braid this part as tight as I could just so that everything could blend and it could look really Really nice and seamless.
So once you're done with your braids, they might be a little stiff, you guys. So I did dip mine off camera in hot water. And also, you guys, tie it down just so that it can lay how you want it to lay. So now I'm going in with my Arcani Coil Care, you guys. And I'm going to try to make my edges as dramatic as I can without them looking too crazy. <laughs> so I'm just using my brush and also my rat tail comb to just get my edges together, you guys. When I swim down to the deep end Don't you know all my secrets, honestly Can you keep it real, cause honestly I can tell that you're real fond of me Baby, don't be shy I can see it in your eyes, I've been running around Too bad, I've been sticking out your mind I know you like your hair, I'm coming from behind I know you stand it, how you taking all my time Left, right, can you take it all the time Too bad So now that my edges are done, I'm just adding some of that Shine and Jam set and mousse to my edges and also to the base of my hair. And then I am going to proceed to use the little wraps and wrap my hair so that it could set. All right, guys, so now I'm taking off the setting wraps. And yes, y'all, it's looking really, really nice. Nice and set. I really like this style. It's very quick, simple, easy, perfect for this hot weather, perfect for the summertime, you guys. The hair is set. The hair is looking good. Um, you don't have to do any type of feedings for this. If feeding is not your strong suit, you don't have to worry about that. Definitely crochet the hair in. So if you guys are feeling this style, definitely give your girl a thumbs up. Also, comment down below if you're feeling the look or let me know what style you'd like to see me do next. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.